there's no no word to uh, to describe Tai Chi, just like there is no symbol to describe Tai Chi. It's just the supreme ultimate of the martial arts. I mean, uh, it moves slow, but you have to understand the reasons for moving slow, um, because it doesn't move fast and isn't sharp, and you don't wear a, a uniform and uh, or don't have to wear a uniform. It's not impressive to people, you know. And to me, it's very impressive, <laughs> very, very impressive. The style itself, it seems very, very soft. You know, like you do any type of movement, and the technique doesn't look like it has the power, but actually it has true power. That force that we use is called kimi, or in Chinese they call it qi. Everyone has one foot energy around them. Um, you can feel that if you come in a room, if you're with your children or with your wife or your husband, and they're happy, you feel it. You feel it. If a person's sad or they're down, depressed, you feel it. It's projected, but that's focused out, you know. What we do is we take it uh, size of a head of a pin and focus it at uh, a person. I, I first received a letter from, from this association about uh, their ability to concentrate and absorb a great deal of punishment through key through this inner power that they've developed. And uh, when I first read the letter, I had to read it again because I didn't believe what I was reading. He invited myself and uh, another guy, Chuck Norris, to deliver full power kicks and punches to him, you know, to certain parts of his body, the groin area with kicks and uh, full power punches to the throat. So when I first read it, you know, I had to read it again. And then even after that, I tore the letter up because I didn't think this guy was, was all right, you know, up here. Then uh, I found out they came to California and I was in Hawaii at the time, but when I came back, a lot of the black belts there had told me about what had happened, that they had set up a demonstration where uh, they had several martial arts people uh, come and deliver full power kicks to the groin area and uh, full power punches to the throat. And uh, they also had a demonstration where they, uh, he had four guys deliver chops to all sides of the neck uh, simultaneously and apparently it, it was very impressive and then at one of the tournaments in California they had a guy Everett Eddy from uh, Detroit who weighs 240 pounds he's one of the nationally rated fighters he's very very big and strong and he delivered uh, yeah they call him Monster Man Eddy that's his nickname and he delivered a full power punch to the throat and obviously didn't affect him then uh, another light heavyweight champion a guy by the name of Ernest Madman Russell delivered two groin kicks full power and that didn't bother him. Then uh, Jeff Smith, who is the number two rated fighter, he's a light heavyweight. He's rated number one as a light heavyweight. But he uh, went up and said, could I do any kick I want? And the guy said, sure. So he said, I want to do a spinning wheel kick. So he did that and hit the guy upside the head and knocked him unconscious. And the guy stood up after just being knocked down just for a few seconds, just stood up and tried to shake it off and said, I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. You want to try it again? to give or take a deadly punch or kick come from. Most of us think of rock-hard muscles and a determined mind. But to a Tai Chi Chuan master like Shem Leong, strength comes from a mysterious energy pool deep within each of us. The life force the same source that powers the sea, the sun, the wind, the volcano, the planets, the universe. He practices total relaxation of mind and body. He is centered, open, peaceful. There is no anger or toughness enemies of the power he draws from calmness. After years of solo exercises, pushing hands and free fighting, the great universal energy, the chi of Tai Chi Chuan, 
may be summoned at will to flow through the body. Then, without apparent effort, hardly moving, the Tai Chi master can deliver a pulverizing blow or absorb the most powerful kick. The Chinese say that to attack him is to attack yourself because he redirects your force against you and when you strike back, he's not there. <laughs> 